other day I posted a video about restless leg syndrome. I was actually in the middle of a really bad episode. I had received a question, really more of a comment, from a person that also suffers from restless leg syndrome. And they've been suffering a long time. The medicine that they're trying, like many other restless leg medicines, it works in the beginning, but then slowly it begins to be less effective and then you start needing more and it becomes a vicious cycle. In the beginning, they can have a positive effect on your restless leg syndrome and you might even start getting some hope because maybe you're getting an extra bit of sleep and that can really make you feel a lot better when you haven't been getting the sleep you need. But what happens is the amount that you're taking of that medicine slowly becomes less and less effective. Our body gets used to it. This is what's referred to as tolerance. So this is now your body is building a tolerance. Believe it or not, some of the side effects of these medications and that actually create restless leg syndrome symptoms like that feeling like you you just have to move your legs if it's in your legs it is possible to have restless leg syndrome in other parts of your body i do i can feel it in my back sometimes. It's the same exact sensation, but I'll feel it in my upper body, in my torso. It's extremely uncomfortable. There's really nothing good about restless leg syndrome, except that when you can get it under control, you can help other people that are suffering as well. You're experiencing restless leg. You're not sleeping, right? You're exhausted. And that will slowly affect everything in your life if you're not sleeping right. You know, it's it affects how we feel all day long and how alert we are, how patient. If we're not getting our sleep, well, that is like the foundation loosening slowly every day until it begins to crack, metaphorically speaking. We are not ourselves. It doesn't feel good either when you have lack of sleep. I'm sure if you've experienced restless leg syndrome, if you're listening to this video right now, you know what sleep deprivation feels like. And I'm, I'm sorry that you do know. I know um, I'm familiar very closely with it. I would love to try to help you with it. I want to share with you some of the things that I do to help in the moment. I'm at that point right now where I've tried all of the off-label medication for restless leg syndrome. I've also tried some of the home remedies. Right now, I'm enjoying this drink with magnesium. I've read a couple times that magnesium is a supplement that has been proven to help with restless leg syndrome, as well as a lot of people that are suffering with restless leg have iron deficiencies. So that's something else to try. Possibly even remedy that with certain foods. So you wouldn't even have to add a medication to your repertoire. Some of the other things that I try that are not medication and they're not supplements, they're just things that I tried in desperation in that heat of the moment. I may not have felt like doing them at the time, but as soon as I tried it, it made a big difference. So I just, I want to tell you that in case you hear any of these and you think, oh, I'm so tired. I'll never feel like doing that. What happens is you'll find in that moment, you know, when you have that feeling where you you must must move, move. in that moment, you pretty much become desperate to try anything. So one thing I recommend is just get up. Usually this is first hitting us when we're sitting still or lying down 
in bed, on the sofa. Most of the times people are complaining of their symptoms at night while they're watching TV or trying to go to bed. Stand up and start to move. So I'm going to get up and show you what I do. Check with your doctor before beginning any exercise You want to keep your back straight, your tummy muscles held tight, your shoulders back. Move back and forth. Backwards and forward with this same move. Little arm action. Sometimes I'll use my weights here. these you want to make sure you're standing up nice and straight keep your tailbone tucked under hold that tummy and make sure to lift your legs in each direction A little combo move with the knee and straight leg. Keeping the back straight, looking straight ahead. And just some more shifting up the weight. This feels really good after working the leg muscles. Especially this feels really good. Here I just showed a little sampling of each of the different dance moves I've incorporated. This can look any way you like, whatever you prefer. This is just, I wanted to give you an idea if you wanted something to follow to make it easy so you don't have to think about it. You should hopefully be feeling some relief by now. This might raise your heart rate a little bit more when your arms are up that high. Now this move right here, you want to make sure your balance is very sturdy. They're the same as the ones over by the chair. These you want to make sure you're standing up nice and straight keep your tailbone tucked under hold that tummy so either way is great remember you can always hold your chair for support you're still going to get relief and just shift back and forth That's about what I do, and it helps. Really hope it gives you relief today. Let me know if this helps. It's going to be okay. I know it's, it's very frustrating, and I've gotten overwhelmed by it when I've gone, when I've spiraled down in that frustration, because you really do feel like you're going crazy. However, I do find it makes a world of difference if while you're doing these exercises, because I know you cannot think straight while you're in the heat of restlessness, you have to move. So while you're doing these and you're starting to feel a little bit of calm in your muscles, but you still want to do the exercises to keep that good feeling going. During that time, I've often thought it's helping that I'm doing these other exercises right now. It's helping the restless leg syndrome to go away 
right now. And I know it's going to be okay. I know it's going to go away. I know it's going to go away. It's not going to last forever. This feeling is going to leave. I've had it before and I was able to handle it. Telling yourself that, whether you believe it or not, makes a big difference because your mind is listening and is just going to take your words and find comfort in them. You're not going to think that you're trying to play a trick on yourself. So calming yourself down makes a huge difference. If you reassure yourself what you're doing is the best you can do for yourself in that moment, and you're going to feel relief and start to feel your sanity returning. (laughs) You'll feel much better when you don't have that urge that you have to keep on moving or pulling your hair out. You know, I'm just kidding. I did not reach that point of pulling my hair out, but I've certainly felt like it. I know it can get pretty extreme. When you're feeling like that, put the music on. Put on a song or two that you know you love. Those songs that no matter what's going on, when you hear those first couple of beats, I'm I'm picturing that you are in privacy of your own home, not in the middle of a restaurant. Of course, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, you're not going to sit there and And you can't not move, right? When you feel how much relief you get from dancing, you might have a different outlook on dancing as a form of relief for your restless leg syndrome. And again, it's a really nice form of exercise. It's good for your cardiovascular system. It's good for your energy. It helps loosen up that energy in your whole body. Dancing makes a huge difference. I urge you to try it. Yes, I know you're exhausted and you're thinking, when I'm that bad and I just want to go to sleep and my legs driving me crazy, the last thing I want to do is put on music and dance. And I know, I know, I understand that. Please just give it a try. Anything goes. The only requirement is that you're moving. You will feel better. You will feel relief. And I'm in the process of weaning off of medication that I had been on for a long time. So as I've gotten lower and lower and eliminated a lot of them, um, it's sometimes it's hard to know if the restless leg is coming from my body looking for the medication that I'm no longer taking or taking less of. And when your body is looking for a chemical like that, it can often give you the sensation of restless leg syndrome, which makes it really difficult. That's why I feel it's really important to share these more physical, practical ways of helping. If there's anything that you've tried that I haven't mentioned, I know it will be so helpful for anybody that is suffering from this or maybe knows somebody suffering from this. It would be helpful to share that experience, that knowledge, those suggestions, things you've tried. If you could leave them in the comments section for other people to read about. Maybe they could try that and we could share ideas with each other and be a resource. My heart goes out to you. I know it's it's not an easy syndrome to have. I know you will get through it. I'm hoping that Maybe you have one idea at least today, a new idea to try when you're feeling uh, really restless and like you can't stop moving. I hope that there was some value today in this information about restless leg syndrome. Take good care 
and namaste.